We're just about to welcome nearly 200 heads of data and revenue managers from the world's biggest hotels, tour operators, car hire, airlines and every other travel product in between to the Smart Travel Data Summit in Amsterdam. It's going to be a fascinating two days. We're looking at how data is impacting product development, revenue management, pricing and how to structure your company so that you make the right decisions using data, not guessing. Ordinary analytics don't work very well in travel. So typically things where you're buying lipstick or you're buying books involve a lot of counting. What you have to do in travel is try and work out what people want, and that's not obvious. Travel is obviously a space where there is a lot of innovation. It is one of the industries that the first industries to go digital, and since then it's kind of been in the forefront of uh, revolutionizing the way that people uh, you know, uh, consume uh, travel and uh, using a lot of different uh, digital products. Revenue management and uh, data analysis is very on topic for our company. So it's very interesting to hear people speak about that and to talk to them after they have spoken about their insights from their company's point of view. It's been great to hear from lots of different parts of the travel industry. So you had people like Aqua Hotels talking about how they're segmenting their users with clustering. So kind of a hotel chain getting into that data area and then other people like the OTAs, Expedia, talking about how they do that kind of stuff. And then also just being able to talk about how we actually push data and data science into the organization and hear how other people are doing it as well. If every bar on the charts is the same, it's very hard to compare. If they vary and you've got big differences between things that you show, people have a reason to start comparing and choosing between things. But if you don't have that data and you don't show that kind of data and you don't allow people to make choices, then it's very, very hard to model and predict. Just by simplifying, we've seen massive return both on, both on investment and engagement, just with age and gender. So this will turn into more bookings and opportunities to cross and upsell, which is what we're doing at the moment. The networking sessions have been great. And that's what coming to a conference is, you kind of get to talk about the things you're worrying about in your company, in your daily life. And suddenly it's like, everyone else is talking about this too. And it's kind of nice in a way. Most of them were new. It was very interesting for me to speak with them. Uh, definitely new insights gained there. So yeah, always good to meet new people from the industry. Because the topic is really hot at that moment, that's really interesting uh, for a lot of decision makers uh, to go to the event to say, okay, now I heard all different stories, so now I can do something about it. One thing is clear, data and analytics are changing how the travel industry is being run. And uh, this is the place where you're going to find out how that happens. Yeah.